there a big difference between like the um the culture of indian football because i've seen like other indian sports and the way they put in their own culture and their stamp on it is there a big difference between that and say english football or european football it's like a massive well, the thing is that is cricket's the main sport yeah you know, everything's cricket um so we've been every game's on telly the football but even that's um rotated around the cricket um and it, it's getting better um you know there's a lot of foreigners going in there now even ex ex players really um, top class names um and people trying to help it they're, they're, they're still learning um i mean i remember when we went and we tried to change the food a little bit okay um, but the lads just didn't like it they didn't like that it was hard to it's hard to just change something like that do you know what i mean all of a sudden the lads are used to eating something and then you go right you're not eating that no more you're sort of eating more european food it doesn't necessarily work like that do you know what i mean so you have to yeah. guide it in a little bit and um we did a lot of you know weights and 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 stuff like that building up which they weren't not like they they just didn't do you know so they pretty much went into the games you do a lot of obviously football training yeah. uh, it's getting used to everything else your diet and and stuff like that yeah and what what's I think the, Arsenal, what Wenger went through the same thing at Arsenal in the 90s didn't he when he had Paul Merson and um Tony Adams I think it, like that culture change sounds very similar to that yeah it is and it's and I mean whether you just go bang that's what we're doing or let's bring it in gradually you know what I mean um but obviously, when you've been living a certain way your whole life and then you try and change some of it as... And food is important, you know, when you just sort of say... It's like someone saying to me, right, where there's no more chips, you're just having Brussels sprouts, I'd be devastated. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I don't like Brussels sprouts. And it'd be hard. I'd be like, I wouldn't eat before that. So it got to the point where a few of the lads wouldn't maybe not eat everything and they weren't fully prepared because they didn't necessarily like it or whatever. So, yeah. it, so they're starting to learn and, and that's the main thing. So from your from when you first started at United through to when you finished, what did the strictness change on diets and things like that? Did it did it get no, stricter? I, think, I mean, when I first started, um, obviously we had a lot at, at the training ground, which, which you did. You know, you had your lunch at the training ground. There was a point where when I was injured, I used to get my dinners prepared for me at the training ground off Mike the chef, and it just just so I would eat the correct amount of stuff. Mm. Uh, but as you get older you know your body a lot more and you know what you can and can't have. Um, and and people always used to, used to say, can you have like fast food? I say, of course you can every now and again. But in general, you know, you stick to what you you, you yeah. normally have. Um, without, the, without the manager knowing. <laughs> no, yeah, without the manager. No, he'd be fine every now and again. I mean, I remember when we played at Everton and I remember on the coach, we all stopped at the chipper. Do you know what I mean? Like it, yeah. it was at the end of the season, like, but, it, it, it is what it is, and the, the manager sort of trusted us on that as well. 